Hey everybody, um, alright, this is ATS bonus lesson, you know, weight symbolism, you get the idea. Anyway, uh, weight was primarily responsible for the major arcana. He couldn't be bothered with the nuances of the, what we call the minor arcana. Back in the day it was just um, four numbered suits and then one suit of trumps. So it was literally five suits. And the whole idea of the major and minor arcana pretty much came from uh, Jebelin, uh, uh, Levi, uh, Itea, all, all these other like metaphysical types. So anyway, what I want to introduce you to is the triangle. I'm sure we've all seen that before. Um, this was something that Waite was obsessed with in his symbolism. And again, he was mostly in charge of the day-to-day -day details of the major arcana. And he kind of left the, the minors up to Pam. Now, we see the triangle in these cards. This is just the most obvious. Um, in here, we have a strong triangle theme. I'll point this out in just a moment. Well, what do you know? There's eight of them. Uh, let's see. So, we've got top of the triangle two base here so triangle here we've got the the crown here with the triangle here these guys falling out the star and the two pitchers uh the moon and the dogs um the the, the lobster is more of a minor character but we do have our triangle motif here we have our triangle motif here 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 and here and remember the before and after thing now the next thing i want to show you is that not just enough he wasn't content to have just the triangle now we wanted to see something more important now we do the sacred and we've heard of the sacred and the profane so here is the sacred and here was the profane if you pardon my putting this out here and then Let's take it one step further. Let's put polar opposites. I'm just going to put Mars and Venus here. Mars, Venus, Venus, Mars. Uh, just to give you an example. In this, we have, is that in frame? Yes. Uh, there we go. We have our, our polar opposites. I don't know which one is male or female. They both have breasts. So apparently it's this man's command over women or whatever. But again, we stuck with the, sta the sacred, the big boss here, and the servant class, which, uh, oh, wait, remind me to tell you about the, uh, the hierarchy of the tarot in that sense. Uh, again, now I'm not so sure about polar opposites here, but uh, you can see they have the different uh, uniforms. Uh, they both, you know, the, the east serves the pope, the west serves the pope, uh, you know. France and England, uh, Spain and, you know, you pick your favorites. Um, again, we're just looking at the most obvious symbols of, ooh, I'm sacred, or oh, I'm profane, and again, polar opposites. So this is just stuff that Waite just loves. Again, sacred, profane, uh, male, female. Sacred, God, you know, crown, look lightning, and then for profane, again, polar opposites. This is just weight was really predictable. Uh, you know, do I even need to point it out? And as I like to say, the dog and the cat, but really it's dog and the wolf. Um, or the cat, if you like. Uh, so here we have our sacred and profane triangle. Um, we could extend that, but really that's the most obvious, and I wanted to point this out as being you know, weight's penchant for triangles. I'm going to pause this, erase the board, and I'll have some more for you in just a moment. 